Yo, Joe, it's another show for a toy kind of mood, and we present Welcome to the Terradrome with my public enemies. I'm Travis Moody, and I'm joined by, of course, KJ. What up, dude? What's up? What's going on, man? We've got and, some hooligans with us. That's right. Some new faces added to the Viper Patrol. We've got Chris Johnston. Introduce yourself, my man. Oh, I'm back, baby. The artist formerly known as Fixer. Uh, I don't know why people wanted me back on the internet, but we're here. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this. And my guy, former quarterback and currently the greatest NFL commentator going, Tony Romo. Anthony, what's up, baby? What's up, man? I got the crystal ball here, man. Tony Spiggs is here. All right. We're doing it right. And look, crack a barrel, baby. It <laughs> happened. I didn't have to go on eBay. Actually, I didn't even have to pay for it. Shout out to my man, Merry Christmas. Kevin Anderson, of course, of all people, throughout the internet, there's a guy I know who lives like 20 minutes away who found the shirt. I mean, in California, Cracker Barrel, what? How? I don't know. He did it, though. He was out in Camarillo or something. He's like, I think Travis needs that. And he <laughs> bought the display model because they were sold out. Wow. So, somehow my fat ass fit in a medium, but we got, <laughs> oh, we got, it. We got it done, baby. And this was going to be the title of our show, right, Chris? But... Mm -hmm. Can't have that. Can't uh, have it, huh? My own buddy Ray has a show called Knowing is Half the Podcast. <laughs> I can uh. step on his toes, so got to catch up with that stuff. Anyway, we're here to set uh, talk tons of Joes with a custom figure point of view, custom-minded. So there's other Joe podcasts. They're all great. We love the full force. We love what's on Joe's mind, so on and so forth. But we're going to talk mostly custom work and also touch on every bit of news hitting the world of gi joe so let's start off right away with custom work and uh anthony you know you've been making rounds on the uh the groups lately the classified groups and man you prolific lately you've been doing a lot of stuff that's catching our yeah, eyebrows dude. and raising them up want to show some stuff that you're working on right now yeah man it's just it's i'm lucky to have such a a big fodder box old left over from marvel legends and it's just wait a minute with this line what can i do you know, to make some some soldiery figs that that are that are from GI Joe, and I just dove right in. And like I told you before, before we started recording, I've made 19 customs already. It's crazy. But a lot of kit bashes, a lot of some didn't need full paint, some needed full paint, and I just mm. I just got into it, man. Here's the here's the low light I had, and that's the new one. Very yeah. nice, and that's Very the nice. U.S. agent base. Yeah, that's you. That's an MC. I keep saying it's an MCU, um, US agent, you know. And he was all, you know, he's all dark blue. I painted. I, I had a wild hair up my ass and said, "Hey, I'm gonna see how this paint, how this figure is gonna take this paint." And it took that gray, nice. And I got the the head, I got from uh, Don Menard, created it, and then, uh, oh man, it just it set it off real good. And then, you know, there's there's a shout out to Mr. Von Cannon right there. There we go. Great Iron Studios, <laughs> baby. Yeah. The, the wallet assassins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, killing our wallets on the damn daily, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we might as well say there's going to be 25 days of Gridmas episode coming soon to a toy kind of mood. And of course, if we don't get kicked off the air after this pilot, we will uh, follow up with that and talk about our our swag, our our plunder, if we get any from Gridiron for uh, the holiday season. So we'll definitely follow up with Mark and uh, touch upon his amazing work. Uh, Chris, you got anything you're working on right now? Yeah, man, I've mostly been uh, I've been doing a lot of uh, one twelfth. So like, here's one that I just finished. Oh, if everybody can see it. Yeah, we got you. Yeah, I saw that. So, man. I kind of, I took this snow job and just kind of turned him into uh, a different sort of arc. I haven't worked out the backstory or anything, but uh, I've had the, 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 the bug kind of caught me. I, I finally decided to put a water slide on my, uh, my custom red jackal. And I don't know why I've been putting this off for so long because I was I'd never done a water slide before and I was scared of screwing it up. <laughs> and I did it and I was like, oh my God, this looks amazing. And I started digging out stuff that I haven't worked on in over a year. So I, I've got here's the an old Duke that I was gonna try to turn into a um 
a black major, but I just, it just ain't talking to, it's not talking to me. And I think I'm going to, I'm going to do some reworking on this and do something else, maybe a night force Duke or something was, like that. I was just yeah, going to yeah. say that. Yeah. yeah, that, that, and yeah. It, a lot of what I've been doing is just like farting around and just, and then <laughs> something goes, Oh yeah. That, so like I did this the other day. She doesn't have a head. So <laughs> I bought this, uh, I bought this for, uh, this was a Terminator two NECA. Yeah. Got it. And, um, I took it, I took this off the bag if you can see it. And I put it on this gung ho backpack and I was using this for my, uh, heavy duty custom. Mm. But now that I see what gridiron has been putting out, I was like, well, that's way better than this. So I took this off, um, uh, to be able to replace the one that it's on my heavy duty. And I put it on this scarlet body and this is going to happen. I don't know when, <laughs> but, but this is going to be something. Um, but the, the one, the one that I'm, I'm really, really wanting to do is with this, with this Hawkeye. Um, I gave you guys a bit of the heads up. This is kind of a seek. This is going to be a special one. Um, so I did this a while back. This was from, uh, what is that game? Overwatch. What? Yes, yeah. the cowboy from Overwatch. So this was oh, like yeah. a whole version, and I kind of cut it and glued. Like you could see a really the really crappy glue job back here, but I just dirtied it up and just you know made a nasty little poncho out of it, and it fits really good oh, on him. Cool. Nice. Uh, so yeah, I just I need some hands. I'm waiting on a head. I may do a little bit of tweaking to it. Uh, this this is the one that's going to be special. I love and, the whip, man. The whip, we got the work in progress. Custom, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, like, we're listen, not even. I love that, that's what I got, dude. I've got so I had so many things that I was working on in in one twelve, and then I just kind of I got too busy working and all that other stuff. And since I'm not working, you know, I got plenty of stuff to do. We got. Uh, to... I got have to have something to occupy, dude. I, 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 until the beginning of the year comes and I can get back in the fight, and it, I got to do something. Uh, so I've, I've been digging out a lot of these six inch and, and just going to town, man, I've been inspired, uh, especially seeing everybody's stuff, you know, cause a lot of people have been just going crazy, uh, mm -hmm. putting good stuff out. I have been doing a lot of vehicle stuff, uh, which we'll get into, uh, whenever we show some of our favorites, mm -hmm. uh, those, the his threes from Walmart, uh, I'm shutting them down, dude. When I see them on clearance, I'm going to go, I'm going to go crazy. Uh, I'm, I'm working on, uh, um, and this is the irony of it all. It's I got the blue his three and I've painted it black. Now, um, the, uh, the other two that I did were, they were different. That's, those are going to be uh, a lot. I think a lot of people have already seen them. It's the, the red shadows hiss that I did to be a companion for, uh, the robo skull. Uh, I, I released those on my Instagram channel here or my Instagram channel. Yeah, we'll get my, some my Instagram up. page. Yeah, we'll, get um, some well, and I've got I've got the I've got my favorite one sitting here too. So yeah, if you guys uh, if you wanted to show that and well here you know what I'll just go yeah, ahead and do let's it. Let's do Why it. Right, yeah. Shout out to Marauders is, Gun Runners. Oh, there we go. Robo Skull. This this one's my favorite one. So I I got the stickers uh, from Toy Hacks, and man, I wish that I'd have known about action force back whenever I was, you know, collecting Joe in 82, 83, 84. Cause like, look at the inside. If you guys can see it, just the decals yeah, that they awesome. gave them were so much better than the decals that we got on our stuff. Yeah. Generic. And this weathering. So I, I got this from uh, Billy Kessler on Instagram. Hmm. He had done it to, uh, to one of the it's those new, uh, the armored vehicles, the Marv, uh, he, he got, he got the desert Brown Marv and did some really nice weathering on it. And I was like, dude, how did you do that? And he goes, he's like, spray your sealer on there and then sprinkle dust on it. <laughs> and then, then put, do your wash. And I was like, that's freaking insane man and i did it and i did it on this and i don't know if it comes through on camera but dude i just I, I love the way this thing looks and um and i just i put these the stickers on there from toy hacks i did two different versions of this one uh to go with uh to go with the um robo skull 
and I'm working on some black ones. If you guys remember when Marauders did the Cyber Ops figures, mm. I bought a I bought a couple of those. Those are the the black ones. They were supposed to be the bats. Uh, they were like the you know the Marauder version of bats. And I've tweaked them a little bit because I didn't like them quite how they were. And now I've got like this whole backstory in my head and I'm going to make a couple of his tanks for them too. So that's, that's pretty much everything I have on the burner right now that I can think of. So I've always got something going on that, you know, I, I think maybe I have customizer ADD where I'll start, <laughs> I'll start working and I'll get to a point where, okay, I got to order parts or I need some paint or I have to do something. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna put this one aside. I'm going to go over here and start working on that. So, oh man. You're giving away too many secrets, Chris. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, uh, magician's box. Well, man, I, I haven't, I haven't been online in a while. I got to talk. You know, <laughs> you know, yes, you know yes. I've got that, uh, I've got that need for acceptance. You know, somebody validate me. Uh, Is that a? All right, never mind. KJ. <laughs> uh, Shut up. K, KJ, I'm gonna circle back to you, Tony, in a bit because I know you got a couple more things. But uh, before oh, yeah. you move on to the next section, but KJ, show us. You, you have something that you're gonna show uh, and post because you are not home for the holidays right now. Exactly. Well, I I am home for the holidays. Oh, I'm home, my, home. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My my ancestral home of North Carolina, <laughs> visiting family and friends. Um, no, I um, Kakalaki. Yeah, my uh, command center in Los Angeles is chock full of figs, mm -hmm. cardboard and plastic. It is a war against clutter. Uh, but uh, <laughs> right now, if uh, these photos will probably pop up right now, I'm working on a Crimson Cobra Commander, a work in process mm -hmm. and uh, a work in progress, I should say. And that's for our fellow Toy Kind of Mood contributor, uh, Dave Story. This is a gift for him. Wow. So, Merry um, Christmas, Dave. Yeah, well, it's going to be a Happy New Year's gift uh, because it's <laughs> probably going to finish it off. But I, just like you, uh, it's probably I got 10 percent left of it. It's just part of it is finding the time, finding the right things. I was able to get my hands on a uh, I use Mod Podge as a sealer, as a top coat. Uh, you mm -hmm. can brush it on. It dries clear um, and it makes the figure playable. It makes it actionable. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with a spray version of Mod Podge, and that should be an even um, more uh, cohesive coat over the entire figure. So that's what's next. As soon as I get back, as soon as I, well, as soon as I get back to uh, California uh, to put another spin on a Public Enemy song. Yeah. By the time I get to California, <laughs> all right. You know, the original. you know the K original i know the original <laughs> K kj i use that i use the spray version and it's yeah. it's great okay yeah. awesome i haven't had any That's trouble with it all the time how long how long does that spray mod podge uh, take about about 10 minutes but you want to cure it for like a day or two days, yeah right? i normally yeah. let it sit for at least a day or so but yeah. i mean once you spray it it maybe 10 15 minutes tops before it dries quick before it, it dries quick. It. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah 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 Tony, before we talk bats and alley vipers, uh, you got anything else you want to show us real quick? Well, I had you guys saw the you guys saw the Rakondo. I, mm. I was I was loving that. I was like, oh man! As soon as that um, that Muldoon from Jurassic Park came out, mm -hmm. I said, mm -hmm. "That's my hat." And as soon as I get the head right and the the hat, I'm oh man, the rest of it's a no brainer because hey, hey, if the head right, Tony there every night. <laughs> it's right. <laughs> Yeah, man. So then when a lot of these guys, they have the button up, you know, collared shirts that G.I. Joe's got all those. And as soon as you get that, get with the paint. And oh, man, he's the first one I made with the short sleeves, too. You know, those are Shang Chi's arm. Oh, wow. You know, yeah. No kidding. And then um, that the total paint job on the on the pants and the boots, you know, he has those little the, the long part of the pants at the bottom that are not mm -hmm. camouflaged. You know, it, these other guys are hooking them up. And then, you know, um, there's the one before that. And thanks for the shout out on that, on that torpedo, man. That one came mm. out great. You know what? I was going to work on a torpedo. And out of respect, out of respect <laughs> to your work, I am no longer doing a torpedo custom. I'm just going to make a Cobra eel, Cobra eels. And just, yeah. I and can't so many, touch that, man. Right. So, so many people, I mean, they weren't giving me shit, but they're like, well, that's, that's awesome, but the scuba's got to be on the front for the for the modern, you know, the modern seals and all that. I know that, but it, it, and someone backed me up without me having to say anything. I said, "Hey, torpedo had issue on the back." 
<laughs> you know, and he had like a couple of missiles on the sides of it or something like that. And then um, I just used some some Captain America boots because that Snake Eyes base, his feet are too small for Mark's um, flippers. Mm, he just know. put some different feet on them to make them slippers fit, and you're good. Is that the movie Snake Eyes, Tony? Uh, no, no. That's that's. I was debating on getting that, but uh, I had the I had. The Snake Eyes, that's funny you asked that because the Snake Eyes that came out, I liked them, but I said, those aren't my Snake Eyes. I, mm. I, made, a, I made a version one and a version two of my own, and I liked them way better. But that's the, the first release of Snake mm. Eyes from Classified. Yeah. And he just, it took the gray paint. At first, you know how um, Torpedo's gray goes all the way down to his boots? It's mm -hmm. like he's got half gray pants and half black. To me, that's awesome, but it looked too SeaWorld-ish to me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then his newer three and three quarter inch fig had it just to the, the lower thigh. And I thought, oh, mm -hmm. that's, that's cool. So it worked. And then when you put the buckles on the straps in the front, that made me look like a, a cool diver to me, man. It, it came out pretty cool. I like it. Yeah, and that follows what, we're, what they're doing with Classified. Because they're basically updating an old look, but not replicating it. So that's yeah. kind of the beauty of what we're doing with these customs as well as taking ideas from all over, not just a real American hero or the original 82, 83 through 89, you know? Yeah, you don't have to get stuck in that, but that's yeah. where that's where the reference comes. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, what are people going to say about this one? Well, I pull up the little fig, the three and three quarter inch that we all used to have back in the day, make it look like that, but do something that, that for the classified do something for that like these all these knee pads were never there and the you know the little one and they, and they, they look cool so you know i don't paint over them sometimes i do sometimes i don't but they yeah they look good on the ones i have now so yeah but it's yeah. not a milsim look it still can be toyetic but it can like reflect you know artists yeah, yeah, yeah. now because they've they've evolved yeah mm -hmm. speaking of stuff that looks super cool retro joe cobra they're hitting. People have gotten armies already. I don't have shit. Chris don't have shit. Tony, you don't have shit. KJ, you certainly <laughs> don't have shit because you ain't even home, even if you no. did have shit. You know, <laughs> but the bats and vipers are on the way. I think some people are getting charged from Entertainment Earth. Big Definitely. Bad Toy Store is sending no. notifications uh, that they're shipping soon. Amazon, Tony and I, you know, we were talking about that. So that's, I got let's see december 28th maybe 29th for a bat for me and january 6th for an alley viper collection so we'll see uh what's going on with this who are you who are you guys order from uh chris are you dealing with these bats and vipers right now or what yeah so i ordered the the five piece case of each i want to say from entertainment earth uh so because i'm kind of hoping i'm basically playing you know uh race the paycheck uh with that one whenever i ordered it i was still working and um but i'm thinking that you know by the time because it said oh they're not going to ship to july and everybody was really pissed and i was like yeah buddy <laughs> i was like I'll, I'll definitely have the money by then uh, so but yeah that's i've i've got those waiting and then Dude, with the way that things, the way that things are looking right now, uh, with Hasbro and distribution, uh, I know some places still they're they're not quite where they want to be. Uh, but man, I live in BFE Odessa, Texas, and uh, uh, I've been able to find. I was able to get Major Blood. I was able to hook somebody up with a Major Blood that you know that I got from the store. That's never happened to me before in my life. Yeah, you don't live in Scalp Angeles. That right. KJ and I have to like line up outside <laughs> well, Target an hour. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and speaking of that, uh, just a, a quick shout out. I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but you and KJ got me the Baroness by doing that. The, the day that y'all camped out in front of that Target. And because uh, KJ and I had been talking and I traded him a pink Power Ranger and like 20 bucks or something. I can't remember what it was, but I remember seeing you in the picture. So, you know, you guys have been doing it. You guys have been doing the community right since day zero, man. And then appreciate that. Man, uh, we, well, we appreciate you. And I also have the W appreciation to Travis because he's the one who taught me how to use Pop Finder, how to use the uh, DPCI. I was 
the second in line to try and get Baroness. I saw this dude talking on the phone, talking all intense. It's like, damn, man, there's already someone here trying to get that Baroness. And I took a look at him. I was like, it's like 5 45 in the morning. Is this Funny you dude run into Travis the other guys Moody like... from the Facebook group? I was like, yo, are you Travis Moody? Like, how'd you know that? It's like, you're the one who taught me how to use Pop Finder. And we've been we've been boys it's ever the since. The birth of a toy awesome. kind of mood right there. Yeah. That was the birth of the, the show that we've done 50 plus episodes of. Joe That's hunting. Crazy. All from mm-hmm. Joe hunting in the morning, grinding. Yeah. Meeting somebody Dude. at 5 30 at ass o'clock in the morning over right. fucking yeah, toys. No, none of us would have known each other if it hadn't been for that. No, yeah, you know. probably not. But no, but yeah, I mean, it, it seems like it seems like that they've they've really got it. They're getting it together. Yeah. I mean, if it wasn't for the problem in the ports and you know, and shipping in general and all that, we'd probably be swimming in this stuff already. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, if if you take a you know take the whole world view and and just and see how good Hasbro's been doing with the distributing stuff, you know, it's been. I think all of the all the toy companies seem to be picking up their game. I don't know how they're doing it, but man, you know, eventually we're going to probably pay for it. You know, you got that little hike in price, but I'll, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll pay a couple extra bucks. I'm all right with that. Yeah. Tony, yeah. W- Tony, when it comes to this, are you willing to wait a little bit to pay, like get the deal from like GameStop 1999 entertainment earth, or are you okay paying big bad toy store 2499 or Amazon 22? Like what's your mentality going in this? Are you trying to save a few bucks? You want them as soon as possible. Are you building them? Like what, what's your take? It's interesting. Well, the the talking about the bats and the alley viper, right? Mm. Bats, I'm gonna I'm gonna just wait on. I'm I never I think I only had one of them when I when they were, you know, three and three quarters back in the day. And the alley viper never interested me, dude. <laughs> that orange and blue, what the hell alley is this fool going in? <laughs> it's Barnum and Bailey circus and shit. I don't I don't know. Uh, it's Springfield. It's Springfield. Is what it is. <laughs> Springfield. I'm like, where are you going? Is it is there an orange and blue alley yeah. somewhere that you hiding in? I- Tony, have you seen have you seen the meme that's going around where it says I think uh, so. It says the uh, the the alley viper repaints are coming. Yeah, and yeah. It- oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. But uh, but if, uh, in seriousness, you know, the bats come out. I think I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I'm not. I'm yeah. not really into army building. I was okay. Okay. like, I would get. I would try. Let me get some shield shield trooper guys. Let me get some. Uh, Oh, I don't know. What's another bad guy in Marvel Legends? Uh, Hydra Trooper, AIM Hydra Troopers. Troopers. Hydra, AIM. Yeah. AIM. Yeah, I think the only, only main dudes. ones I would get was the was this, was the, the shield guys because I had a bunch of heads. You take off the helmet, have it in their arm, and then put a different head on them, and they're a different right. individual. They're a guy. Mm-hmm. And then that, those picks look cool. And then I was going to do that with the um, Cobra Infantry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just got you know, again, I got five, six of those and then armed them and then I'm, I'm done, you know? Yeah. So when it comes to the, the bats and the alley vipers, alley vipers, not really on my radar, like I said, but um, the bats, the, those, those are kind of no brainer. I just remember yeah. in the comics when Firefly reprogrammed them and mm. made them dig and it's like, oh, Larry Hammond, that was dope. Yeah, it's, you know, so imagine, you know, a bunch of bats behind Scrap Iron and Firefly. That'd be a sweet pick, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's that'd be sick. awesome. Yeah, I wasn't into any army build until I met KJ and Dave. Story. Yeah, see? <laughs> Me neither, Dave, man. Dave, I, was like, I got into Joe's, and then he army builds. And so then I followed suit and started buying a bunch of troopers. I only had, like, I think I was doing two. And now I think I've got six of each or five of each or whatever, so. Yeah, but, I look at them stormtroopers behind you. I'm like, oh, shit, look at you. <laughs> The army building a little bit man there's something <laughs> yeah. about there's something about a display with just a nice a platoon of, that's true you know of troopers all lined up and it I just looks it. good yeah hey so let me ask y'all what's the perfect number for army building because you know some people say three is the magic number i say like man if you broke it take only takes two to army build and that was me i had two foot soldiers i had two okay five got five on it all right grab your that's four me though you know yeah in yeah. a perfect, if I can afford it, uh, I like things. I like things in fives. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'll also do. I'll do a fire team of three. Uh, Same. So, like with my infantry, uh, I was only able to get two Cobra troopers, but mm. I have a handful of infantry. So, like I can put a trooper with three infantry, and there's my fire team, and I'm good to go. 
you that know, officer know. looks so badass to yeah, me. Yeah, I can't wait to get that officer. Oh, to get one. I'm gonna Two make officer. a Python Patrol Cobra officer. That's Ooh. that's coming up as soon as oh, I get that. Oh yeah. yeah. Hey Jay, I was gonna ask you. Remember back on the torpedo thing, um, when you gave me that shout out, thank you. You're, you're my man. You're my dog. It was, it was awesome. awesome. Was like, man. So awesome. I was I was actually doing a display, and I saw that and I heard that. Oh shit! Did he just fucking say my name right now? <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, and then you had said you weren't gonna make one, but you're you're making a diver or crimson baroness or something. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna take because I have three uh, baronesses uh, oh. with the coil cowls, right? So I have yeah. one that I'm gonna do blue sunbow, and then I have one that I'm gonna do crimson strike, and then I'm gonna take uh, Mark's um, frogman set, paint that crimson. I may have to um, just I'm just gonna cheat with like blue tack. And just get those flippers on, right? Yeah. Um, but basically, I'm gonna go with um, making a um, w underwater Crimson Strike Team Baroness from the Mass Device episode to go along with mm -hmm. that. I even have like a Jurassic World Mosasaurus, so they have someone to like. Oh yeah! Forget them! Forget them! Get the Joes! <laughs> like it's gonna be like one of those. Things, <laughs> nice. right? Forget them! So. Get the Joes! <laughs> get the crystals! Uh, so. Yeah, I'm doing um, that that thing. That's growing up as a kid. The way that GI Joe worked, there was always these five parters. You know, it's like <laughs> Mass Device was mm -hmm. a movie, um, Pyramid of Darkness was a movie, uh, Rise Serpentor Rise. So it wasn't just a one episode. It's like you had to come home from school because you had to watch the next installment. That was a and movie. They, yeah, and they job Snake Eyes so bad because he couldn't because he couldn't talk. I'm like. It's not Spirit and Storm Shadow. It's Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. just off. I was in the comics so much. Okay, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because there's different vibes when it comes to Joe. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. KJ, so, KJ, how many bats? How many vi uh, alley vipers? What are you doing? I'm doing six bats, three alley vipers. These same three that I've been waiting on forever. Like, where is it? There. Boom. So yeah. those three alley vipers that have been teasing me since 2020. Um, <laughs> six, six bats right now. Um, if I keep coming up on cash i'm going to get about three more that i'm just gonna fucking destroy excuse me i shouldn't have watched my language but um fuck it. just so they're fuck just it, debris man. i'm just gonna have... give a fuck <laughs> fuck it man we're good hey this... we're... they're just they're just gonna be debris but with that it's not gonna be i'm not gonna do 22.99 i'm gonna wait for the 1999 i'm gonna wait for the 17.99 the 15.99 when i first did classified wave one uh, and we'll touch yep. on this once we start talking about Valiverse. But when I saw the Valisarge figure, I that was first. And I got Wave 1 and Classified on sale from GameStop, 15 bucks a piece, because it was just July. No one was really buying Joe, I guess, right when it launched. So I got the whole first wave on sale. Got them all. Right. Um, just yeah. so I would have something once that yeah. six-inch Sarge uh, finally arrived. It was, it was the Valiverse figure for me first and foremost. Yeah. And then it totally changed uh, just with the with the tide basically yeah uh alley viper was certainly my favorite so i'm the <laughs> opposite of romo and that uh yeah alley viper I just as think about though when you're a kid what's going to stand out the you know what i mean so it's the orange the orange and blue triangle thing like you know it's a it's a circus character it stood out i like can't stop thinking about that moment having that as a kid and the bats were the coolest for sure but um, yeah, I'm going to go roughly five, six each, I think. So it depends on who ships what, how many I get, how many, if I get too many, who can I sell some to some friends for retail? You know, oh, that oh, I, I will say um, I, I do plan on getting three more Audi Vipers because I'm going to repaint each of those as crimson and white. Ooh, so that's gonna be ooh, yeah. yeah okay and the and the crimson alley viper is a certain it's darker it's a darker red so you basically just take your um i use a, a vallejo colors they have a great red primer uh they have great colored primers so i'm just you just take that red primer add a little bit of black primer to, to darken it and then yes. you use white primer on it and you can paint directly the color if you use primer and then if you want to accentuate it then you just use uh thinned out paints on top, you know, some people use apple barrels, some people use cram coat, but I highly recommend uh, Vallejo. I just got some of those. I think I'm getting some for Christmas too. I've been using apple barrel like a madman. I'm like, these are 50 cents. I'm gonna yeah. make these work. And they're just as good, just as good. Yeah. Your tips are giving us double clicks because people are gonna have to watch this again to mm -hmm. uh, take down the menu. Uh, Chris. Yes, sir. 
Here we go. The moment we've been all waiting for in this part of the show. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about uh, our time old, for action. Good old friends over at, uh, yeah, the full force. <laughs> Uh, the action force is the other news this week in GI Joe big news sides of bats and alley vipers is the launch of action force so this thing has been delayed the Vala versus new series. Uh, you know has been delayed for a long, long time and they finally hit and people are showing them off and there's been some mixed reviews but mostly yeah. fairly pretty good but without yeah. some quabbles but in our like little chat you've been explaining a little bit of both so why mm -hmm. don't you just dig into it overall man the 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 reception for these have, has been really positive uh the sculpt work is amazing uh you know bobby he killed it with the details uh you know all the things that he showed leading up uh like in if you take off carrick's vest and you look on the inside it looks like a wool liner the details that he put on these figures are just fantastic man and and he he went through so much shit to get these things stateside uh it, it's it's wild i mean because i i don't know if i'd have been able to handle that because the, the poor guy man i mean you know things are ready and then they're sitting in the you know they're sitting in the factory and he finally gets them stateside and, and he dude he cranked them out uh because if you're you know like if you're looking at uh the valiverse instagram like you knew he told everybody when the uh, when the shipping container hit, and um, it was Salvador was there with him, and I know that Jordan um, was there with him, uh, and they were dude they were just cranking out those orders like mad, mm -hmm. and I think that he said I think I heard that they're they're going to send out the last of them on Monday, uh, so some of my. Uh, the, my my four horsemen pals from from the old show uh we got together thursday time is a construct that means very little to me now yeah. <laughs> um it was, th I think it was thursday really. morning uh yeah. ml series had received his and so he like was doing a live unboxing in a private chat with everybody mm. and and <clears throat> and he has dude, he got he got so much stuff that his skinny ass, we could put him in the box. He actually has a picture of him in the box where we could close it up and ship him off to somebody. <laughs> um, and shout out to ML. You know, if you guys don't know ML series on Facebook and any of these groups, one of the greatest dudes you'll ever want to meet. He's a real one. Yes. Super, super, super nice guy. Yeah, uh, I've seen him. Bro. He's just, a, he's just a great dude. Uh, and uh, Brian was there. Uh, Brian was on the show a few times. He helped co-host um and andrew my you know my regular co-host was there now for the most part everything was great you know bobby already put out the uh the information about the stiff joints to where you need to warm them up uh and i oh, believe yeah. i believe i heard that he was going to be replacing the hips i don't know if that's true or not uh that's not i didn't get that from bobby i just you know uh i heard that through the rumor mill i still get people that message me who think that i worked for valivers I never, I never worked for Valivers. <laughs> um, it, it was, uh, uh, my, dude, my, my time there was fantastic. I loved, dude, I loved being the hype man for them. It was great. Um, but the, the issues that we had, or I say we, the issues that came up while we were looking at ML and boxes stuff, uh, were paint rub on joints. So like, uh, whenever he heated up his, um, steel brigade and he's articulating the wrist the paint was rubbing off uh, uh on the disc and i know somebody else had posted a review that the they had paint rub on the ankle pivot of their uh wasp braider i don't know how prolific that is because those are the only two that i've seen um some folks uh kenny uh shout out to kenny verse he, uh, uh, like all of his boxes were broken somehow. Um, so like if it was a, if Kenny was an inbox collector, he'd have been having a stroke. Uh -huh. um, but that could have just been, you know, the UPS guy that he had was, you know, going through a divorce or something. You never know. <laughs> Ace Ventura mode. Right. Because dude, I mean, what, once they put that stuff in the box, 
it's 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 out of their hands you at know, least I, they, he didn't dump it in a swamp down in uh oh <laughs> my god right yeah. that fedex guy <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah i hope he likes his time in that federal pound me in the ass prison <laughs> <laughs> 400 counts oh Woo! my god wow. um but yeah, yeah dude i mean for the most like so i would say uh who who was it dork dork Lair. Uh, Dork Lair. Dork Lair. Dork Lair. Bill from Dork I watched. Yeah. He's doing amazing reviews. Yeah. So if you want to yeah. look that up and you know see somebody that has them in hand, uh, he's been doing amazing reviews, man. He's, you know, he he'll show you though, you know, here this may be a problem. But dude, I honestly um I don't think that the joints are a huge issue uh as far as the stiffness and everything, because it's just one of those things to where it's it's the first time that they've done it. You know, I bet you that by the time series two hits or series three that, you know, Bobby will have that dialed in and it'll be, it'll be perfect. I mean, cause it's not like this is for Bobby's first, you know, rodeo. First rodeo he's, he's, he's designed figures for, for a while. Uh, so I imagine he'll have that dialed in, you know, almost perfect. And it's, let's be honest. All of us have to heat up figures yeah, in, in one way or another, you know, from like, I, I bought a, a retro figure, a GI Joe retro figure that I had to heat up the joints on that because I was going to break the damn thing. If I didn't, um, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, you know, it's just, it, that's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. It's temperature too. Like you said, if they were stuck in a shipping container for a long yeah. time, depending and, on where it was, it could have got too hot or too cold. Valiver's so. headquarters is in Rhode Island and it's December. You know, so yeah, we have a saying in here in Texas is that's colder than a well digger's ass. So, you know, <laughs> that, that plastic is going to, it's going to freeze up, you know, and it's going to seize on that, on that stuff, uh, whenever it's in those cold weather. So, I mean, dudes, I, I know some people are like, oh, we shouldn't have to do that, but it's really, it's not that uncommon. If, if you've been a yep. dude, I've only been a figure collector for, you know, hardcore as an adult for a couple of years now. And I know that's just the nature of the beast. You, you know, you just, you just got to do it. So yeah, I think overall uh, for a first series with all of the shipping issues that he had to go through that were no fault of his own, you know, I, I feel the need to, to point that out, dude, this was, this was not Valor versus fault that, you know, we had these continuous delays and trust me, I talked to Bobby back then and then and th it really, really bothered him mm -hmm. that, you know, that it was getting these shipping delays. So, uh, and if, if you haven't picked any up, go to, go to big bad, or, you know, I'm sure, uh, Bobby said that they were going to come, that they were going to come on sale, uh, on his website after he fulfilled the, the, uh, the Kickstarter order. Mm -hmm. So keep an eye out, man. Cause it, the swarm, I have said this since day one, the swarm, in my opinion, is the best designed troop figure in years boom oh, love boom. love that swarm trooper and anybody that's known me for more than a week knows how i feel about the steel brigade that mm -hmm. i can't uh, dude i really really you know i'm i'm gonna go crazy whenever i get the ability on some uh, uh steel brigade to and i'm gonna put gridiron on those i'm gonna have chain gunners Ooh, and flamethrowers and it's gonna look good it's oh, yeah. cool. you know the, the figures look amazing the sculpting is good uh, it, the only thing that really, really bothered me that, that, you know, I, I was just like, Ugh. <coughs> oh, excuse, me. <laughs> excuse me, uh, was just that paint rub. And, and I'm pretty sure now, again, disclaimer, I do not work for Valiverse. I've never worked for Valiverse. This is not from Bobby's mouth. This is my opinion. I bet you, if you have joints that the paint rubs off, if you contact Bobby, you know, uh, message him on Facebook or contact him through Instagram or email him. I bet you he'll do something to make it right. Sounds good. That shifts me to KJ real quick. Well, well said. That was great. Uh, KJ, uh, sell me on these because I had some pre-ordered and there's been some stuff going on. So I kind of was like, I didn't feel right about it, but we'll avoid that for now. But sell me on it. Thirty two dollars. Okay, that's my biggest issue above all the other stuff that swar swarms this line. Ah, is, I see uh, what you did there. Is well, here ten dollars more? Sell me on. He just said I need two, at least two steel brigades and yeah. two swarm uh, figures. Sell me on thirty-two bucks, man. That's sixty-four bucks for two. 
Listen, Tell man, me. I'll sell I'll sell you on fifty bucks because if you get in the swarm trooper, you're gonna need the swarm gear pack. That's an extra eighteen dollars. So that's a fifty dollar figure. And let me tell you, it's worth it. The articulation is amazing. It's not like where sometimes with Marvel Legends you have butterfly joints and you don't. No, you got them on these Vala figs. Um, they can do poses that you would have to get like a V Toys figure zero body to do that you're not gonna be able to do with a Hasbro, let alone a McFarlane. There's a reason the McFarlane figures are as cheap as dirt, why you're getting some of these figures for like eight or nine bucks, because they don't pose worth a damn. They're basically articulated statuettes. They're not action figures. Valiverse are action figures. They're made for action, for posing, for dioramas. I mean, for, for carnage. They're, they are t- the, the amount of hands you get on some of these figures, some of the extra heads that you get. Uh, if you look at the D plus wave, like I didn't even get an extra pair of fists for my Captain America, Sam Wilson. I'm going to have to double dip on the damn two pack just so I can get the Anthony Mackie head sculpt and, and the fists. You're not going to have that problem Same. if you get Steel Brigade, if you get Swarm Trooper, if you get Condor, if you get Karak. Goodness, Bone Collector and Karak just by themselves are like are like the poster children for that line. So you got some Swarm Troopers and you have these amazing uh click clack jetpack wings and these honeycomb hexagon shields imagine this deep in the jungle you discover it the cobra pterodrome with gun emplacements almost everywhere and special base for refueling vehicles there he is the cobra pterodrome is really incredible that's dr mindbender and now look they've captured flint it's time to warn the joes but suddenly they launch the fire bat The adventure of G.I. Joe. Cobra Pterodrome comes with Firebat and Pilot. Other figures and equipment sold separately. Yeah, they just look amazing. The poses. Not the bees. Not the, the bees. Not the bees. <laughs> yeah, the, um, yeah, the bee figure. <laughs> yeah, so it's the perfect blend of toyetic sensibility mm. and military simulation, where like they're still tactical and they're mm. dangerous as fuck. Like if you read the comics, mm-hmm. uh, they don't hold back. They dome shots. Like it's like, how the hell are you gonna beat these guys? Oh, that's right? interesting. And then you have, okay. Like, okay. So, if you if you are not reading the comics, uh, you 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 are doing yourself a disservice. You can get them digitally on Amazon. You know, as we speak, Bill Nedro is killing. That He's the story. writer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. I don't know if you guys get out of frame here for just a second. Sorry. Uh, Bill Nedro wrote this Marauders book. Uh, he's the one that's that's writing the comics. Uh, I oh. said this at Joe Fest. Bill Nedro is the heart and soul of of the lore for Action Force. He's uh, a Larry that, Hama, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's the story that he's been building <clears throat> is fantastic. Got to check it out. It's great. Yeah. So after yeah. hearing all this, Anthony, are you interested? Are you like me? Are you interested? Maybe or what? What do you think now after hearing both Chris and Kevin kind of sell the action? force line right what are you thinking are you gonna maybe get some for custom fodder uh, I, I might because you know what i heard that somebody some people were saying that they're like interchangeable like mm-hmm. easily i'm like what oh they look yes. killer and you uh, can separate the waist yeah. from, from the torso i'm sorry that was rude of me but yeah there's oh, definitely no, no. there's a lot That's of that cool. so. Step, jump right in but um I, because when it came out the only thing I got, and I'm still waiting on, I haven't received anything yet, is the, you know, the pack, the declassified pack for Gung Ho. That's coming from BBTS. BBTS, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, so that's going to be, that. uh, that's going to be a little later. Yeah, okay, that's later. Okay, good to hear. Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting on that because my Gung Ho's fine, but damn, I, I wanted that because it's the gun, it's the knife, it's the pack, it's the, I already got a, I got a, um, oh yeah, a cover from someone else here in Arizona. And it's got the EGA right here, mm-hmm. you know, and so I'm good with that, but I still want that. And then uh, I said, well, you know what? I got to get a slaughter. Let me get a slaughter. And that'll be like my, I don't know, my little test for that line to look in, you mm-hmm. know, Valor versus other stuff. And then, you know, looking around and seeing on the Facebook groups and all that people posting them was like, these look good. And they're saying they articulate like a dream. Mm-hmm. They just, they move great. They're all their joints work. And so, you know, I got to cut you off for one second because the yeah. biggest issue with slaughter right now actually is funny because everyone was like, oh, I don't mix uh, classified with WWE Elite because of the scale. I saw but that. 
Sarge yeah. is six six. So yeah. if you you still got to bend the knees a little bit, but if you put Sarge from WWE next to Duke, it scales per it scales not perfect but pretty good, and it scales better than this because oh. I saw Duke, Gung Ho, and Sarge, and Gung Ho is six three according to the comic lore, and yeah. he's six six, which might actually be bullshit because WWE Hulk Hogan ain't six <laughs> eight anyway. So no, maybe, well, <laughs> maybe I, actually, no, Sarge sorry. is supposed to be six six. Yeah, he probably I, is. I met Sergeant Slaughter, and I'm six foot even, and I don't think he's six six for real. Uh, but I, uh, you know, I'm going, I, I'm going back to my fixer days. The thing that we have to remember is that Action Force is a completely separate universe, right? Right. True. Uh, True. The Sergeant Slaughter in Action Force is an Army vet. He wasn't a Marine. Right, you know, true, true. It's it's you know so he's not necessarily going to be way bigger because like in the the like the real real American hero lore, he was supposed to be larger than life, you know, because he was the guy that showed up yeah. and wrecking bats, you know, barehanded and and all that stuff, knocking out Zartan in one punch. <laughs> yeah, but so well, that's uh, kind of my point, though. If you're gonna, a lot of people, most people, I think, are going to be mixing the lines, right? Yeah. Would you say we're going to mix action force with classified and just build this big universe? So if you, which, which Sergeant Slaughter are you going to want? You're going to probably want the classic one that's suplexing bats all over the place. Not the one that's the same size <laughs> as Flint and Duke. Uh, I honestly, I'm probably would go with the action force one okay. uh, because that always kind of bothered me the uh, with sarge being out there you know in his wrestling gear i was like in his on, usa top yeah i was like that's that's not really practical um yeah. that that's you know I, I i had a hard time enjoying things as a child um what is this campy ass cartoon <laughs> <laughs> well you know I, when the original 13 came out everybody yeah. was in their od green you know it's like yeah these are fucking soldiers man and then it, mm-hmm. it got just a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more and then yeah. By the time, you know, by the time I got out of middle school, going into high school, uh, and it started to get kind of silly, I was like, okay, well, I can walk away from G.I. Joe and not. Yeah, yeah, quick kick it. with bare foot and fucking no shirt. And everything. <laughs> Everywhere. That's one reason why I haven't turned Shang-Chi into a freaking quick kick, because, okay. You man, can't you go into a Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Foot, man, you're in the snow, in the cartoon they had him. I'm like, okay, even as a little kid, I'm like. What is this Asian doing? Well, hey, you remember Star no, Brigade, right? Shit. Star Brigade? Well, I'm going to have the aliens against my Joes because there you go. if you can nice. do it in Star Brigade. And these look cool because they're they're like arcade video game. Like, so they have the purple, yellow, green. They don't look too movie realistic, you know, like the aliens. So I think it'll kind of work out if you if you want to have a fantasy sci-fi day with the Joes. Hey, if, if we're going to bring up Quick Kick being barefoot, <laughs> just for you know real quick can we talk about how many issues of the comic that torpedo ran around on the ground with his fucking oh flippers my on? God. <laughs> that used to I, drive me crazy i heard somebody talking shit this fool is in full scuba gear <laughs> jumping out of a jeep are you you need to dump him off in the ocean if he's going to be like it, that what the hell it made me think of that uh the one part from aew uh travis you know where they looked at hangman and they're like full gear really <laughs> goggles and shit on they named oh, the man. show after it it worked it but worked. i could just i could just see him just like hold on guys flop 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 flop, flop you know? <laughs> the hoses coming out <laughs> right got his scuba gear up. all you know, exactly. all mounted yeah that used to drive me insane well, you guys are going to cost me a couple hundred bucks. I think I'm going to redo redo my order for action. Dude, first. even if <laughs> anything... Is, the FOMO is kicking in, man. <laughs> even if anything, man, get a couple and try it out. What's yeah. the worst thing that can happen is you try don't like out. them yeah. and you give them to somebody else or resell yeah. them or something. But I honestly think that if you give it a shot, you know, you don't have to buy the whole fucking line all in one shot. That's how I am, you know, though. Just, I know you are. Yep. I got to have well, them all. Hey, dude, you... Y- I know. I'm a completionist, I know. Dude. Well, and actually, not not in all my lines, but in Joe, I am. So this is very similar to yeah. Joe. So and all right, maybe something, I'll confuse. Something yeah. I think a lot of people may have forgotten about is, especially since you know we're we're customizing. He has the urban troopers and um, the riot the, troopers, the riot troopers, and the the spec ops troopers that are just plain bucks, right? 
and they have the two different heads. They have the Caucasian head and the African American head, and you can just go to town on whatever accessories and you know armor, uh, weapons, whatever. Mm -hmm. And they're twenty mm -hmm. bucks. Is one of oh. those looking like Fireflies gray? Yeah. Demo? Yep. Oh, that yeah. looks like uh, Shockwave. Yeah, uh, that's true. That's true. I never had that dude, and I. It looks like I'll make them from that guy. <laughs> so, I mean, there's a, there's a lot of potential there, man, with those right. uh, as troop builders and as bases for customs. And, well, with, and except with, they're, they're with 10 slaughter, bucks cheaper. Yeah, with Slaughter, I wanted to, somebody had took Sarge and Karak and made, mm -hmm. you know, there's the, there's your naked arms. And then he had, I think they put the gray tank on him, paint that sucker black. And mm -hmm. there's a buffer Sarge right there. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I'm why not? And just so you know, there is a, a tank top Sarge coming in series two. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's true. Yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So but that's, dude, that's what I was doing is I bought an extra Sarge and an extra Karak just to so swap, swap them out. Them. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to swap them out. Yeah, I was going to have a, a I saw tank that top like, Sarge. Yeah. Yeah. So for everyone watching at home, my GoFundMe is uh, I take Apple <laughs> Pay uh, for the Action Force Fund. Uh, I no. will do IT for computer money. I mean for uh, Action Force money. Uh, <laughs> I've been doing it. it for a long time. I'm really good at it. Hire me. There you go. Mm -hmm. right. Hirechris.com. Uh, KJ. All right. Our last section of our first and only show. We're getting fired. Yeah, um, we're getting, we're getting canceled. <laughs> we're this getting, can't last. We're getting canceled, bro. Um, all right, here we go. So we're gonna talk our best, the meat and potatoes of the show, the best custom Joes of the year, and it's either your own, and it doesn't mean it's boasting. It's just like, hey, you know, I suck, but this is my favorite. No, no, but it's like show off what you think. You know, you did that's great, and if not, let's talk about some of the other customizers in the community. And we'll show off some of their work and uh we'll start off with kj uh you got anything that you personally love that you did this year and it and also shout outs to other people on the web um i would say um i would have to go with um my doc uh, my custom classified doc he was um one of my first projects um i got the recipe off of a fellow customizer on uh G.I. Joe Classified Elite, shout out to the Elite, shout out to Murata Rubin. Um, combining that Nick Fury from Captain Marvel, mm -hmm. combining that with Duke and uh, just a lot of love and care. And um, boom, I had this figure. Love it. You know, um, you know sort of like shout out to uh, Sunday in the Park with George. Uh, I made a hat where there wasn't a hat. You know, I made a dock where there wasn't a dock. I haven't and, seen your uh, doc yet. I haven't seen your doc. Oh, okay. No, there's, uh, there'll be pictures. There'll be but just I'll, watch the I'll show that you've been on and you'll see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, it's, uh, it's, and so, and one of the things that I was doing on um, my Instagram account, Black Genghis, was I was doing digital customs. Mm -hmm. So I was doing a tribute to the OG 13. Shout um, out to I Will have... Stone. Is it Will Stone? Will, Will Stone Art. Will Stone, Will Stone yeah. Art. He was, yeah. he was a key part of inspiring me. That. That. Yeah. And I, and I oh, love the digital lost. renders that he was doing. But what I wanted to do was take um, Hasbro figures as they were and mm -hmm. kit bash them together. And it's sort of, it really, it's a cookbook. It's a recipe book. So that if you want to, you can get those figures and you can do something similar to this and make your own spin or do your own version of those digital customs. And I would think for right now, my top one would have to be the one I did for Clutch. So Clutch was a combination of Mr. Fantastic from the Super Scroll Wave, dude with beachhead legs. And it was just right there, the beard uh, and everything else. A uh, shout out to Tony's Rakondo custom because mm -hmm. what he did was instead of having a static chest holster that uh, the original Clutch had that a lot of Hasbro figures had, because I was going to take a chest holster from the shield agent uh, that has repulse is re-releasing later on but he tony mr romo right there actually took an active holster and affixed that sucker to rakondo's chest where you can actually pull out the piece Got right you. so it's okay. like okay if i ever am going to do a clutch i'm going to have to do something like that i mean mm -hmm. it was just really smart engineering the way you had to exacto knife it and glue it back on just right uh just many much applause to Mr. Rumble. Oh my Chef's god. Kiss. Wow. I was like, wait, we already Was that an Rumble. amputated hand? What the hell? Yeah, was no, that, man, man, look. Talking about exacto knives. Oh man. I, like, oh, I got oh, I got oh. I got horror stories, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey kids, be careful because when you use the exacto knife on a figure and then your job is a EMT, it's gonna hurt. 
That thing, yeah. that, that exacto went in there. Like, uh, you remember in, um, oh my God, was it Troy? When freaking Brad Pitt stuck that blade in that big dude's oh, neck. Oh, God, yeah. That, it felt, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Deep, that would not stop bleeding, bro. Mm, Man. Uh, KJ, you had one more shout out. Uh, you couldn't exactly remember the name of the customizer, but you want to, maybe we'll find it. Yeah, later, uh, Homeboy had, a, a, he had a Crimson Viper. I want to say his name is like Insane Toy Robot or something like that. Um, but he had a fantastic Crimson Viper and it was fantastic. I think we are going to find it or try to find it later. Uh, but just a big shout out to that guy. It was, I thought it was uh, an amazing. Whoever you are, person. wherever you are. Whoever you are, wherever you, you are, you're yeah. great. Cool. Yeah. So, all right. Tony time. Um, you are the inspiration uh, for pretty much everything I have that isn't Joe's because remember yeah, I had baby. Norman Osborne's head there and it was pretty cool. People liked it, but then I saw airtight and I was like, Oh crap. Norman Osborne looks like airtight. Hey, so, big time. So Johnny storm. And then look, I got a little bit of a paint job with it. So he's got a little bit of redhead. Let me see if got I can paint on him. Nice. He's the thing that's going to ruin my uh, video, but here we go. Can we see it now? A little blurry, but yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Lift it up a little bit, Travis. Yeah, Just look yeah, it up a little, a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Okay, cool. I really suck at this. But, uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, then also, right, almost, almost, uh, you know, Kip Ash for Kip Ash, right? Pretty much there you close go. to. That's pretty much what you got, kind of. It's a little, little. I got a Mezco jacket. I think you have a Marvel Evans Legends. I've got jacket, a, right? I've got um, Captain Marvel's jacket. Yeah, man. But, I wasn't yeah. the first one. I got that from some people and yeah, it love, came out really good. That came out oh, nice, man. I like the different color. Thank you. So that. I did not do this. Shout out to my roommate, Kevin Wish. He's got, he's quite the painter. He did a great job with that. And uh, nice. yeah, man. So go ahead. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll hit my list later, but did, those are two ideas that I got from you. Um, tell, mm -hmm. you know, talk about what you're most proud of this year and then what's your, any inspirations that you had on the web as well. Um, yeah, inspirations I have, I always take from my boy, uh, Christopher Sturda. He's goes by, uh, freaking masterpiece. And, um, he, he, he cranks them out, but that, that guy, I mean, with my customs, I do as less as I can because I'm lazy. <laughs> I mean, he'll, he'll tell you, take them all apart, sand them, paint them. Prime. That's what you should do. That's what you mm -hmm. should do, especially if you're going to sell them. But uh, I make them for me and put them on display and I'll take pictures sometimes here and there. But Christopher Serta did a badass crimson twins with some two vipers on the side. And he he was he's a badass. So, yeah, he's out in the groups. Christopher yeah, Serta. I, I keep bugging you to start a store maybe with Mark <laughs> Gridiron and do the do the custom figures, maybe total different names generic names so you don't get sued by hasbro but yeah oh yeah uh, man i it's i want what you got <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah man oh the next Art. thing is making a trying to make a um a weapons room actually there's this mm -hmm. guy called yeah. the budget jedi on um uh youtube and he made just an armory uh, with a bunch of little trinkets and stuff on them and he made it really nice and you know building this armory from you know you you have what you had before i met mark and all his stuff came out and then his stuff is coming in like oh my god i got so many accessories mm -hmm. i think i posted the little tackle box full of stuff on there and then um like we talked about earlier stronox customs he's right. like big mm -hmm. ass inspirations like mm -hmm. i saw him do his uh three and three quarter stuff and then I looked into further, and there's his six inch, and there's his firefly, mm. and there's his that firefly is something. Firefly Didn't he have was... magnetic strips on yes, it. Yes, yes, like, he's got. Yeah. I know. Would you get the tiny ass? Because my part time Just, gig wow. is Home Depot. We have the bigger, um, little uh, neodymium yeah. earth magnets. That's what I was gonna yeah. put use to put um, torpedo scuba on his back better. But I shit, I used Mark's tape and. I, I glued the sucker on that. Like, you can mm -hmm. take it off whenever. That's what a heat gun is for. There's my heat gun from Home Depot. <laughs> you know which yeah. one really caught my eye from Stronox? I'm looking at it right now. The classified Cobra Mortal. It's I don't even know who this character is. He's from Me the either. Argentinian uh, GI Joe. Argentinian oh. GI Joe. And 
that thing is just blue i mean it looks like snake eyes with a crimson guard mashed up and it's it blew my mind and then i went on ebay it was gonna like place a bid and it was already at like two or three hundred bucks yeah like, for oh. a six inch figure uh, i yeah. gotta get a sky people his, people love his, it yeah his low light was a big inspiration he looks like he has a freaking jacket you can fucking unzip and take off <laughs> it's like oh my god and oh, it, it, his looks like the you know how we know what low light looks like and the original 80s you know three and three quarter inch and then you got like the how they try to make them better like the other release that came out later he looked like he had that jacket on with the black mm -hmm. on his forearms and stuff and that was awesome so check out stronox i think it's i'm not sure what his uh his name tag is on oh, we'll have it on the we'll have it instagram. on instagram yeah. yeah 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 but he's got oh shit he, he, so he, before he, we get, yeah. before we get to chris just tell us uh what was your favorite you've done a lot of work that's inspired a lot of people and people are clamoring <laughs> over it so what what's your favorite i mean there even something as basic almost as like tunnel wrap blows me away just because oh yeah you don't try yeah, like to I do was... too much you try to just keep it keep it simple sometimes that's effective like sometimes it's like too mm -hmm. it's too much you know it's like yeah it's, 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 you know what i mean go ahead. and when you and when you go you go with somebody like tunnel rat i mean okay he's got the bandolier of ammo he's got a not really a shoulder holster but it's you know the the brad pitt holster he had in that tank movie on there he's got um a like a, a handkerchief on him he's got all kinds but then when you look at all this stuff that's come out i'm like oh that would fit that would fit that would fit mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and then he's shorter he's he's a smaller guy tunnel rat you know so i got what i think i got um not breakers legs but one of the cobra infantry's legs and you i put um what was it old man logan's lower legs on him that made him shorter brown boots from flint Mm -hmm. and boom there you go and then i i looked up a lot of you know pictures on the web of different artwork of tunnel rat to do his face camo the right way. oh my god you do that good um uh you look up good reference that'll make your customs come out crazy. Right. like you everybody knows this world so it's like yeah like your cover yeah. girl right comic book a lot of people are like oh red hair but we have scarlet we have six scarlets yes how, red how, many blonde, hair. how many blondes do we have like we gotta wait for pale peony and everything but right know, and, and she's in the comp she's in the idw comics and she's blonde long hair she's a model cover girl yeah. she's mm -hmm. a name army mechanic you know yeah so um no. yeah I, I just thought wow i'm doing i have so much fodder I have so much from Marvel Legends. Mm -hmm. And then when the classifieds came out, I'm like, ooh. And I didn't know I would take it this far. But like I said before, I've made 19 customs already. Sweet. Through this. E and that's e like, is our best friend sometimes. Yeah. Right? Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You know? and, then, and then Mark with his wallet assassin ass just <laughs> killing me and shit. I'm like, you know what? I talked to him earlier and he's like, I can't wait for the 26th. He's so tired. <laughs> I try to call him and sneak a call in. Bro, when are we going to get a beer? When are we going to do this? I'm so fucking busy. Yeah. <laughs> he like, can sleep gonna... on all that money he's getting. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Get, get, get calling. Get Quaid out. Let's go. You know, his wife, Sandy, yeah. is cool as hell, you know? Good. So, great. um, Mark's yeah, a great guy, man. I'm so happy they're, for him. Yeah. They are so busy. And they're building a library. It's like, mm. you know, this gun comes out. Oh, man, I got to get it here. It's not going to be out long. No. He's going to have tons of stock, That's even for love. the Christmas. Mm -hmm. So you can like, wait for the 25 days of Christmas. Don't oh, tell yeah. I said that. but I'm making a you. damn list. It's yeah, like, yeah. I'm, I'm checking it twice. Yeah. Exactly. Just uh, little by little by little. That damn scar mm -hmm. with the, Dude, the grenade GL. launcher. Yeah. That's a gun that of the year, me? man. The scar oh, for me, the gun, them both. gun of the year. Right that's forward. getting to my, uh, my movie Scarlet. I mean, that's why she's, that's why my Scarlet is going to be called Scarlet, because she's a chef with that scar that's why yeah yeah oh, oh yeah, i like that's that right. that's right i like that uh, a lot that's sick. you can check out my digital custom on i oh yeah that's com cool. slash black well, that scarlet right. digital custom is mind-blowing dude yeah. so mm -hmm. uh chris your turn your favorite uh stuff you worked on or favorite customizers of the year so to start out with customizers uh we talked about this before we started recording uh dr giles he's on instagram is yojo a r a h Giles uh, Gifford, yeah, yeah, he's awesome, Dr. bro. Gifford. Dude, his 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 painting is the detail and the shading and just black wash. Damn, oh, everything is so amazing. The uh, vehicles, his yeah. Wolverine and Covergirl, 
on the Hasbro and he's, is messing up. Not he's doing. so humble, dude. He is so humble and willing to help out. Like I remember when I first started doing customs and somebody mentioned something about a, a it was a different kind of black wash. And I was like, dude, I don't know what y'all are talking about. <laughs> Next thing I know, he's like calling me uh, on messenger. And he's like, check it out, dude, just like this. And, and just showed me exactly how to do oh, it. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, you he's know? cool as shit. Man. And yeah. the guy had been like working fucking 28 hours or something like that in the er and he mm -hmm. stops in his show and i was just like dude man, he's such a good dude wow but his uh his law and order uh which mm -hmm. you should maybe hopefully amazing hear, is uh, you know i'm i i was an mp whenever i was in the army and i've got stories about the the original law and order figure how my you know my drill sergeant used to use that is hilarious <laughs> um but that yeah his law and order were just fantastic uh next is hawkeye from uh go figure custom action figures uh and you talk about i hassle this guy all the time i can't believe he hasn't blocked me uh because <laughs> i will just i'll be like dude what about this what about this what about this but my favorite figure that he's done was uh his eel team six commander mm -hmm. uh this is this was like three figures in one uh you had the eel you had the uh, like the para viper, and you had a operator, and he did all of the parts uh, for this one figure to do all of this stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. you just, I mean, look at the details that he's done on this. It, it's it's mind blowing. Uh, like so, the other day, you know, whenever he he was looking for some some legs from a a, a, a rock uh, version of um, roadblock, and I was like, dude, I got that one. And he's like, how much? Says, Dude, you can have it. With the, with the knowledge that you, that you have put out, uh, he's doing videos where he does two-minute tips. Uh, I highly suggest if you're into customs, go check that out. Uh, he, he's always just giving out information on how he does stuff, uh, suggestions. you know. And he, he'll even say, he was like, you just take this knowledge, modify it, make it yours. You know, yeah, you don't, you don't do see that too often me. either, except yeah. on this show. He's, he's, he's doing a great it guy. <laughs> We're going to do it here. We've been doing um, it here. So. And last, you know, this is, uh, I know this is going to seem kind of sucking up, but uh, Tony's Recondo. Yeah. Dude, that, that Recondo blew my mind because it's so simple and clean and just good. The detail, the, it's got the perfect amount of detail, the hat, the the like kj was saying with with the holster the thank you bro yeah. the, the pants tony man dude it's just like i saw your torpedo first and i was like dude that's badass <laughs> and but when i saw that when you showed us the preview for your recondo oh yeah dude i fell in and i was like just look at the mustache dude i love yeah. it as if i fell in love with that recondo dude not even i never had a recondo you know i was never really a recondo fan but if I saw that on the pegs today, I'd buy the shit out of that thing. <laughs> it, it was, it was just it really, really good. Time for oh, some, e man. time for some eBay auctions, Tony. Right? Oh yeah, make dude. That, oh, make right. That, I make that money as Stronox money. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, I heard. Uh, hey, you never know. You got was awesome. So, uh, Chris, you got what about yourself? Anything so, you did the last year? Uh, a lot of a lot of my stuff, like I said, has been four inch. I showed you that one. Uh, uh i bagged up a lot of it because you know christmas is coming we're trying to make uh, make some room but as i mentioned before i'm pulling out a lot of my uh uh you know 112 stuff and I, this guy i found the other day and uh i just it it made my heart happy because yeah. um you got it you see. just put your oh, hand in front of it yeah there you go yeah so there this, you go this was like oh sick this was the kit bash man so i took this head from a was it Agent Seventy Six Overwatch uh, from Overwatch? Um, it's I gotta get on that Overwatch. Overwatch yeah, Ultimate. It's, um, it's I have found uh, you could find those figures cheap, and Walking so in. like I, I take I buy them and take them apart, and and it's good fodder. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, Snake Eyes torso, the V One Snake Eyes torso and legs, and what I did was swap out the um the uh knee pads and the legs from the red ninja mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the only so i have another one that i'm doing 
that's the opposite where it's the red ninja legs and stuff oh, with the stuff cool. that I took off. But the almost problem, like crimson twin kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, so. and I've, got it, a, baby. I've got another I've got another uh head that's it's like the hair's a different color or something like that. But the problem I'm having is matching the paint. Uh, because like I was able to paint these are the arms from the red ninja. I was able to paint those black, no problem. Mm. Um, but matching the red uh of the red ninja to you know to paint that the snake eyes mm -hmm. parts i'm having trouble getting that red to match mm -hmm. uh so as soon as i can find that red to match i'm going to be all over that but like i only actually have one red ninja that's a red ninja everything else has been taken apart and i'm doing stuff like this you know i gave him the shang chi nunchucks yeah and mm -hmm. um i've got like a whole i'm building like a whole martial arts sort of uh uh dio i've got a couple Hell yeah of the, um i've got a couple of the um uh articulated the icons okay uh i've got a couple of those we call it my daughter my daughter and i we call them the poop ninja uh because the brown ninja the, the brown, the brown ones, one <laughs> yeah we call them the poop ninja the but, shit um, ninja <laughs> yeah so but i got the abomination for uh bath from that uh the gamer verse wave yep. mm -hmm. oh yeah and i put that together and i was like you know it does it's not really an abomination to me but it's a badass bath yeah. and one day i can't remember i think i had him sitting on my desk and i had a ninja next to him and i'm like oh shit that's like some big trouble in little china level stuff there <laughs> so i've got the two i've got the two brown ninjas right now that are like hang out in front of the the abomination and i'm like there we go i was like i'm gonna i'm gonna roll with that so yeah, that's kind of yeah. like the core of, of where i'm working with that with the uh uh i got this um akiko akiko is that how you say it yeah akiko, I, think yeah. So, yeah. I got i got this eyes, uh yeah. the other day i wasn't interested in these snake eyes figures at all i hated the movie um and that's another show come on <laughs> i know, I know. True. oh yeah I just it, it wasn't for me but i i like like so but the scarlet figure she's my scarlet she's in my display she's right now. My you gotta pull the that's neck awesome. out right you gotta pull the necks out because the head doesn't the you, head, you, have, have, to dribble, you have to dribble in the head you may have to like empty it out that's or what pull I the entire her. neck off uh on the on her i haven't had any trouble with the baroness um i got a bunch of the baroness yeah. from uh from gamestop for five bucks a pop Oh wow! And uh, I posted this on Instagram, KJ. I think you saw it. Where yeah, I took different heads, and I had to dremel the heads to get them in there. But now I've got Baroness from the box set, uh, uh, the coil set, and I've got those movie Baronesses with different heads, and that's like her little Charlie's Angels, you know, badass. Oh, that's bitch killer! Group. I haven't yeah. seen she that. Like yet. A, she has um, a Baroness core. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yes. and oh, it's just, just fake. yeah. This is too small compared to the one that they the uh the regular oh. scarlet is mm. oh so, well, i've got yeah. mine is, so it, she's just like she is out of the, the box what's up my the, mine is just like she was right out of the box oh yeah oh, i just i just left her exactly oh you like left it was. alone but i'm saying if you yeah. wanted to make this head with the scarlet body gotcha, oh. gotcha yeah if it sits too high then that means taking out a dremel a hobby drill and mm -hmm. just excavating excess material so it fits mm -hmm. down and you had to be mm -hmm. careful not to you know rupture the face or the scalp because then mm -hmm. it just ruins oh that shit i've done that shit yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, i've got a Burns. i've got i bought a box of um dremel attachments and i've got these ones that they're almost perfect for the uh for the heads to where it's like a little sanding um yeah. you know the whole thing is a sander and it just kind of you put it at the right speed and just kind of go in and, and test it and go in and test it and it works really we'll have to show that one day one day you know we could yeah, our you know, tools our tools yeah the train. tools that we yeah. use Woo, that, i think that, that would work out yeah once we clear great. out like our best of all this stuff you know we'll have the uh, next episode uh we'll talk about we'll just get in classified our best classified uh the classified figures that we anticipate that we don't know of you know like yeah. you know there's going to be oh yeah uh, there's going to be more fan first Fridays. Unfortunately, there'll probably be four compared to the 20 Marvel Legends mm -hmm. ones. They yeah, are quality, quality and over quantity. Yeah, 50 Power Ranger shows to our five that we get for G.I. Joe. <laughs> Look, thank you, Hasbro. Way to go. Hey. Uh, but Chris, any final thoughts on this before we wrap up? Man, uh, thank you guys for having me. Uh, it, it, it was I never thought I'd be back on a show again. It's real nice. Uh, I, I love the hell out of these customs. Dude, if you if let me tell you something, as a batshit crazy veteran, 
um, this whole thing doing customs. Uh, don't be scared of it, man. Uh, get you get some cheap stuff, yeah, and and just go for it. Just try it. You know, it, it, it it's I have found even whenever I fuck something up, <laughs> you know, I just kind of go someplace else with it. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. you know, it, it may not turn out exactly like you yeah. wanted it to from the beginning. Uh, but man, just, just roll with it. See where it goes. You know, I always say creativity comes out. Exactly. And dude, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm a very analytical, you know, like, you know, uh, sort of, sort of guy, but man, when I, I just, I look at these, it's like, I was talking about with the, you know, with this, with this Duke, I wanted this guy to be a black major, but it it was like, "Ah, this isn't a black major. And I know this sounds crazy and kind of hippy dippy bullshit, but the figure will kind of tell you what it wants to do. Yes, sir. You know, and you just, just, uh, the other day I made some kit bash, you know, four inch figures. And all I did was I sat out in the living room and I was watching a movie and I had the body and a bag full of, uh, of spare heads and parts. And I was just swapping shit around. And I was like, Oh yeah, that works. And now I've got like this cap, this four inch captain America body that has robot arms and I've got a, I had, I had a Destro head, but I'm still trying different heads, but he's got like the little face shield from, um, uh, the rise of Cobra, Cobra commander. And I don't know what this guy's going to end up being, but I just, just keep farting around with him and eventually it'll come out and I'll be like, yep, there it is. You know, it's just try it, you know, don't, don't be scared of it. Until you make your own original shit right there. Exactly. Go to Dollar Tree and buy a bunch of the, you know, the cheap ass figures that they have there. Oh, yeah. And practice painting on it, you know, just, and then eventually you'll get comfortable enough. Because, I mean, I understand you don't want to fuck up a $20, $30 figure. Yeah. Uh, But, you know, you got to break some eggs to make an omelet, you know. Uh, Love it. it. Just try. Just try. Just try. And keep watching our show. Just try, Travis. Do it. I know you can do it. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> hey, I'll uh, command the ship. How about that? So, there you go. Uh, Tony, we made it. You were a little nervous. You were amazing on this show. You're a yeah, natural. Dude. You're <laughs> Thanks, great. Man. You're no longer a okay. podcast virgin. Pop my cher- it popped my cherry. I'm glad it was you three. <laughs> you cherry popping daddies, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than you guys, man. I, yeah, I got, I'm glad with you guys. It's my first time. All oh, the, the shit. The other half. Right there. Yeah, explosions, baby. So we did it. We went nice. we went full crack a barrel on that ass. KJ, we've been wanting to do something oh, yeah. like this for a long time, and uh, because it seems like every time we do a talk a toy kind of mood, we're like, screw Marvel, Star Wars, Transformers, Power Rangers, whatever. We just want to talk about Joe's, but it's not fair. We love toys in general, as you can see behind me. I got a million stormtroopers. Oh yeah, we needed our own place, and we got the right group the right steel brigade with us mm-hmm. to talk about the Joes, uh, your final thoughts on this. Uh, I found the, uh, customizer shout out to fantastic toy robot. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. I'll okay. send the photo uh, yeah. to the homie, but this is, if this doesn't work, we'll just cut it. It is not working. No, 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 no. Hey, we have, uh, while we're on shout outs, right. I forgot to shout out Mark Anthony Ventura from the classified six inch community, because to yes, me, uh, as prolific as it, our friend Tony has been 19, this guy is 50. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, he's done a great job and he's got 26 vehicles. So it's almost like every week I'm seeing something new from this guy. And I'm like, how, what? And he's a nurse, I guess. That's his profile picture. Like, yeah, he's already, yeah. I think way so, to yeah. go, Mark. You're doing great. And one more shout out, right? Before we wrap up with KJ is... Our boy, how do you say it, Tony? I B M M T. I think it's I B M M T. I've gotten some head sculpts from him in the past. And I no, think what's the? What does it mean? I think it's I broke my man thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully, I haven't broken these man things. But that's comic snake <laughs> eyes and hooded Coco Cobra Commander, and these are these are phenomenal head sculpts. You can get them on eBay. Uh, put set your alerts to I B M M T. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I was able to snag a couple of those. They're they're worth the money. They're tremendous. KJ, uh, any more? Uh, I would say uh, shout out to Gnome's Paint Shop. Yeah, uh, yeah. if you're curious yes, about sir. some stuff, that's some of the. I got some of the shoulder armors. So the way that my hierarchy is right now is that Vipers are three stripes, officers are going to be two stripes, the troopers are going to be uh, the one stripe, and um, there's gonna you can get a blank 
armbands, vests, you can get all kinds of good stuff. So I think it's either you can search gnomes, that's G-N-O-M-E-S paint shop. Um, some really great stuff, some great casting. Uh, so if there's some pieces where you don't want to buy the whole figure, you can get some other pieces, the cable vest, for example, or some other stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm, and not the exact thing, you know, there's going to be some tweaks to it. So, you know, you don't yeah. want to get homeboy sued, but check it out. It's going to be, it's, it's, yeah. it's super dope. It's One more stuff. shout out to like uh, Chris had mentioned the water slides, man. Bad mother tattoos and cuts. Bad mother Hell tattoos. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, you, you can just message him. I did that. I said, Hey, I need a, can you do an airborne, you know, and it's weird with their ranks because some of their stripes are upside down. And I'm like, that's just G.I. Joe. It's whatever. So yeah, let me, yeah, let me, let me get that. And then he got it, made it and sent like 20 of them to me. Dude, he's, dude, he's, they rock. It's like gridiron, bad mother tattoo. Gridiron, bad mother, you know, it's cool. There's nothing still- like this, uh, Joe toy community. Dude, right, and guys? The, the independent producers in this community are killing it, man. Arsenal of Pew Pews. Mm-hmm. Yes. Arsenal Pew Pews, baby. Yes, Arsenal Pew Pews. Formerly known think- as Phoenix Lights. Yeah. Love in, in love Arizona those, uh, again, <laughs> and just love. like an old school hip hop album, we had our shout outs. Welcome to the Terra Drome episode one. Your host, Travis Moody, Chris Johnston, Anthony Romo, and Kevin Jaha Johnson. We did it, man. We did it. So, hopefully, we get an episode two. Yeah, that's it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, right? Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Kwanzaa. There you go. Uh, happy Hanukkah, uh, <laughs> Festivus, all that good stuff, man. Yeah. Love happy, you guys. At least love you, internet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Happy Joe. I guys. love you, Internet. I'm glad right. to be back. <laughs> love. Yes, bro. sir. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a little like that's a little GI Joe extreme. So, all right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. Episode right. two. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>